Here. Full account terms apply. Bet responsibly. 18 plus gambling care.ie. a bit more talk before I agreed to present this show, but welcome to the Entertainment Hour with uh, me, Fanula Rabbit. Greg has um, left me to it, although I have him here beside me holding my hand because it turns out uh, I am not as confident as I thought I was. <laughs> and, uh, and I don't know how to use this desk, even though I technically paid for it. Um, <laughs> so I want to welcome uh, my guest. Very weird to say that. First of all, we have Noel Cunningham. Uh, uh, Noel, I have a list of all your achievements, but everybody all knows who you are. Anyway. Absolutely. author and TV personality oh, I, just, you I'm sure but in fairness I, I think am so jealous the number of times I've hoped to sit in here with Greg holding my hand <laughs> <laughs> So I know, I know. <laughs> no complaints. Straight <laughs> over. Her, Greg her. is straight over for a cuddle if anybody's listening uh, in or watching us on here. Thank and you, Noel. A million congratulations. What a milestone. Interrupted by COVID, but here we are. I Fabulous. know, it's fantastic. It's, we're so delighted to be able to be back doing it again. You know, we had big plans during COVID and it's great to be back and to be able to... Uh, raise money for some fantastic charities and as I said 34 years it's so amazing that the people of Donegal have supported Highland for a huge length of time and given it the status that it has across the country so big thank you to all our listeners so after Noel then I have again Maria I, oh here we go Maria Rush of Rush Fitness Letter Kenny and awesome director of the Adams Family Musical. I know we mentioned it 165 million times. It may have been mentioned once or twice, Maria, over the course of the, the last couple of weeks, but having seen it myself last Saturday, uh, it was still not mentioned enough. It was amazing. Thank you very but much. But I will say our own Donald Kavanagh <laughs> stole the show. He did. Stole the show. He did indeed. He I mean, it was the role he was born to play. Yeah. <laughs> he, he, even his grunting as Lurch was a sheer masterpiece. Killian Murphy didn't have a patch on him. Oh, not, not a patch, patch on him. Not a patch on him. Yeah. Yeah. Next and year. and finally, my one-time friend and now you know Katie's best friend. <laughs> Katie's is, best friend. Uh, <laughs> uh, and and this is a definite exaggeration of his abilities. Writer and blogger Michael Leddy. I think Katie's best friend Katie's sums it up friend. better than writer and blogger. I think that's exactly. definitely Katie's best friend. You're more friend. known throughout the country as, as Katie's, Katie's best friend. As yeah. Katie's yeah. best friend. Yeah. Well, thank you all for coming. And as I said, apologies in advance when I talk over you or do put ad breaks in the wrong place but I have all my bits of paper so I'm ready to go so I think the first thing we probably need to talk about is in the entertainment is the Oscars it was an amazing uh, night for Ireland uh, uh, not only did we have the great Killian Murphy but also um, Poor Things uh, Irish produced um, and it was just fantastic to see it did, ever, did anybody else watch it or watch bits of it well it's no. one of those things you can't you can't but you know anybody yeah. who has anything whatsoever to do in terms of public exposure in whatever field, mm. you're drawn toward the Oscars. It is the event of the year in the entertainment world. And despite the fact that Killian Murphy got sort of the Screen Actors Guild, the BAFTA, etc., etc., that was the coveted mm. one. You know, yep. that's and you know, men and women alike, men don't necessarily kind of admit to it, but we also want to see the glitz and the glamour and the fun. Oh my God, and I know. who's wearing what or who's wearing who. It's so ridiculous, isn't it? The red it? carpet is so awesome. Absolutely. Awesome. It's so That's fabulous. Amazing. So, and wonderful, wonderful to see. But Killian Murphy, you know what's lovely about him? His utter humility, yeah. just a mm. lovely oh man. I, I thought it was great. I read somewhere, uh, somebody asked his dad, was down in Cork, and asked the fa his father, um, uh, how do you feel about Killian getting the Oscars? And he's like, sure, isn't he just anybody doing a job? He just happens to do his well. And I was like, oh, my God, the level of humility. Clearly, he doesn't get it from the ground, as they would say. Just amazing. Like, they're just so uh, down to earth and mm. everything about it. And his speech was lovely and yeah. very grounded. It was lovely to see him there with his family and yep. his sons and everything was with him. 
It was an, a, amazing. And like you say, no, the glamour is just fantastic. Uh, watching uh, what the girl in Poor Things, Michael step in, you know, I never remember. Oh, Emma Stone. Emma Stone, Emma Stone yeah. having to get sewn back into her dress after she laughed so hard with uh, <laughs> Ryan Gosling's uh, Barbie. Uh, oh, it's definitely, yeah. people should definitely check it out if you didn't see bits of it because they kind of sh- uh, changed it up. I just lost my microphone. Huh? <laughs> you know, they kind of changed it up a bit this year, I thought, with the the way they did the announcement that they had other people announcing each person and kind of saying something personal about them. I like that. Did anybody else see that part and like it? I didn't see it because obviously I was in the theatre last week, but um, I did, as you said, it's very hard to miss it. It's very hard to avoid Yeah, the it. clips are everywhere. The yeah. clips are everywhere. And I, what I did find from the bits and pieces that I saw was there's a lovely... They're not taking themselves too seriously mm. anymore, which is really quite nice. Um, there was a lovely little interview or conversation between Ryan Gosling and Emma Stone where the two were winding each other up about... Not Emma Stone. What do you call her from Oppenheimer? Uh, oh, I can't remember yeah. her name. But the two were it was the they were joking about the Barbie Hyman. Uh, Emily, 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 Emily Blunt. Blunt. Yes. Yes. Yeah, Emily Blunt. Yeah, and they Blunt. had a, they're they're taking a hand at each other in a very respectful, mutual. Yeah, way. I know, but a real yeah. fun kind of way yeah. about the whole Barbie Oppenheimer yeah, thing. That's it. This is the professional, Greg. I'm not there. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's Greg's, because they were doing Greg's the Fall Guy. They were doing the Fall Guy together, so they're, that's that's what the connection there is. That'll be the big summer blockbuster for the ah, two of them. I can't wait to see it. I can't wait to see that. Yeah, the trailer looks amazing for that. And like, right on a lovely crest of a wave at the moment and let them enjoy it. Yes. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. No, absolutely. It, it was very enjoyable now, I have to say. I, and I'm not normally one like, no, you know, you kind of, every year you say, oh, I'm never watching that yeah. again. And then you get dragged back into it again. Mm. And uh, on that note, it's um, no, no harm to mention Claire Keegan, the amazing Irish writer. Um, they've just filmed, uh, Killian Murphy has just filmed uh, one of her oh, yeah. uh, books that was adapted. And that's just showing at, I think, the Berlin Film Festival. That will be in cinema soon. And that's well worth a look because again he plays an extraordinary part in that yeah i've seen some things that it has to do with the story of the magdalene law uh, yes it? it's, it's it, it, i've read the book um, oh, must... i know the story it's it's quite harrowing and sad uh and it will make for a very good viewing yeah things like these is that it the... yes yeah. Yeah. yeah, it'll be. It'll be. I, I have seen some interviews on it now, but I haven't seen any clips yet. But it does look like yeah. it's going to be, uh, again, an outstanding performance by him. But it's a real kind of a mirror up to society. Oh, okay. mm. uh, there's a lot of uh, good critics reports on the book itself yeah. so I can only imagine they'll do a great job with the movie so so what else has anybody been watching over the over the week uh, Noel yourself have you oh, been watching anything good besides the again, Oscars again like the Oscars I'm never going to be drawn in I refuse to watch it I will switch <laughs> off the television <laughs> celebrity big <laughs> brother <laughs> fabulous <laughs> fabulous fabulous <laughs> a toss up between that and married at first sight oh, or whatever no. they call it you know <laughs> sheer utter rubbish but I have to say you know Celebrity Big Brother is a study in behaviour and how the most simple things in that sort of uh, bubble can cause such sort of reaction, so many problems, so many rows, so many emotional <laughs> breakdowns. And Mr. Louis Walsh does not disappoint. He's actually... He's he's unbelievable. He's managed in a few days to really upset Jedward, Ronan Keating, and I was actually I didn't quite like what he said. He made a most disparaging remark about Lord um, Andrew Lloyd Webber. So you know, are you are you watching it, guys? No, no but I, will, I want to see what that. Oh, it, oh, <laughs> uh, his. I've again. I've watched. Tell myself every year. No, I'm not going to do. But his right. conversations with Sharon Osbourne is like beyond the beyonds. And on that there note, I have to say, I met Sharon Osbourne very briefly in a previous mm. life on TV. It was years ago uh, at a sort of a launch for, um, um, what do you call the talent show? Uh, with Simon Cowell, we went over to London. Oh, well, they've um, got talent or one of those. Yeah, but do you know what? I really was impressed. She came across so well in the Big Brother house. A very wise woman. She was very gracious. She was mm. actually a huge surprise for so many. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's absolutely what I always find funny, which is why it's good to watch the celebrity one. Is you assume they go in there thinking, "This is what I'm going to do now." You know, I mean, people who are celebrities obviously have a certain amount of strategic thinking about you know who they're 
you know, uh, public persona is compared yeah. to their person. You know, mm. the, in their their family, would probably tell you they're completely different, like mm. than what you know, sitting around in their tracks we watch and telly compared to when they are all glitzed up. And in that, I assume they go into it, as, you know, with set things in their head. This is what I want to promote. This is the way I want to come out on the other side of it. And then lunacy ensues and it's like they just suddenly forget that there's a camera and mm. like that's the thing when you see Louis and Char it's like as if they're sitting over a glass of champagne in a bar somewhere and they're and it's like they were at one point name dropping while giving out about people who name drop it's just like <laughs> you're just like they're completely like obli- it's a, it's an amazing thing to watch in that sense. That's why I like the celebrity one rather than whatever, because you're just like, this is not the way that person thought they were going to behave when they signed the contract and said, well, I'll give this a go. Mm. It's very good. So that's on Channel 5 or Channel uh, 4 no, now? No, um, Virgin Media. Yeah, oh, okay. uh, Virgin Media. What? Yeah, it's okay. there. Yeah. Brilliant. All right. Well, I'm told now that I need to go to a break. And the first thing that we're going to do is we've asked a couple of people around the county to send us in some information about what is their favourite, um, what their favourite movie was. And the first person we have I- here is uh, TD Joe McHugh. The county's number one talk show, The Nine Till Noon Show on Highland Radio. The shake-up between Shawshank Redemption, It's a Wonderful Life, Green Mile and Gladiator. But I have to pick one, and that's Shawshank Redemption, a film of determination, grit, perseverance, camaraderie, hope, and optimism. Today's show is brought to you by Letterkenny Credit Union. Simplify your debts with a debt consolidation loan from Letterkenny Credit Union. Call us on 074 9102126 or apply online via our app or in office today. Hop to it with Easter savings at Tesco. Like our Board B approved finest Irish Angus Chateau Briand. Full flavoured, now half price. Pick up our finest hot cross buns while they're hot. We're €2.50, now €2. Euro. And hunt out medium Easter eggs like Cadbury Giant Buttons, any three for three euro. Enjoy a bigger and better Easter. Save time, shop online or click and collect. Tesco, every little helps. Club card required, subject to availability. Available in most stores. Prices vary in express stores. See tesco.ie. Make great photos into beautiful gifts at McGee's Chemist Letterkenny. Different gift ideas include canvas prints, freestanding or ready-to-hang art blocks and personalised photo books, perfect to mark any occasion. There's also jigsaws, calendars, mugs and much more. For details, visit mcgees.ie. Turn your favourite moments into something truly special with McGee's Chemist Letterkenny. The Big Kahuna is back for the bank holiday weekend. The Euro Millions Mega Draw will be a guaranteed jackpot of 130 million euro on Friday, March 15th. 130 million euro? Time to dream big. So don't forget to get your ticket. The National Lottery. It could be you. Play responsibly. Play for fun. It's the last week to snap up tickets for the fundraising gala concert of the year. Long Tower Church Derry presents two internationally acclaimed acts, The Priests and Soprano Margaret Keys, in St. Columns Hall, Derry, on Palm Sunday, 24th of March. Tickets just £25 sterling. To book tickets, call Long Tower Parochial House on 02871262301 or check our Facebook or website for online sales. Top Donegal land fetches big prices. For more in your Farmer's Journal, here's Paul Mooney. Donegal land prices remain stable overall, but with huge variance. In this week's Irish Farmer's Journal, we publish our 17th annual agricultural land price report. We reveal a growing gap in land prices across the country, the latest on BIS entitlements and eco schemes, and just how much is the weather costing farmers. Don't miss your free land price report worth €15 inside this week's Irish Farmer's Journal, New Canada for to miss it. Well, welcome back, and I think I did that relatively smoothly. Forgot to bring up the other two, but I'm working on that now next, so there we go. So, welcome back to the Highland Radio Birthday Bash. We are, um, obviously, as you can tell by me being on the microphone, we're changing things up here in the station for the day, and we are fundraising for our three fantastic charities, the Irish Wheelchair Association, uh, Donegal Jigsaw, and Breast Centre Northwest. And you can donate via... Is that me? You can donate via... 
Highland Radio's webpage and go to our big charity day. Click on the link and I donate. Or you can even call up into the station and have a cup of tea and uh, and uh, drop us in a donation or even just call up and say hello. You're very welcome to come and see us. Uh, my phone always rings. It is hilariously funny. Since pre since covid like which is 2020, I have been doing the uh, entertainment slot here on Highland Radio, and I may not hear from a family member <laughs> every other day. I guarantee you, between 11 and 12 on a Friday, one of them will call me. Oh, and you'll <laughs> always blame the guests. Uh-huh. Well, always I say, no, oh, yes. switch I'm off d- your phone. Yes. <laughs> My phone's never off silent. That's I know. My biggest light. Oh, God. Oh, that thing never stops. I, 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 I went to get an NCT, and when I started the NCT, I was on the phone, and when I came off from the NCT, I was still on the phone. It was crazy. <laughs> Maria, we'll go to yourself. And you, um, as I said, a fantastic weekend. Uh, great success with the uh, with the play if anybody didn't see it keep out keep an eye out for it next year and get your tickets in early because they do an amazing job in fairness the group of people that you have spectacular Thank you. but uh somehow you found time to watch television as well <laughs> i don't know how well i'll tell you why because caroline rang me last week and i was like, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like uh, the only thing i've seen for the last six weeks <coughs> has been the script of the adams family i haven't <laughs> actually seen television and i had all the greatest of intentions of watching um poor things last night we said we were going to watch it because we've wanted to watch it i was in bed by half eight so <laughs> there's no way but we did start um on Sunday we started watching the series on Netflix The Gentleman um, so it's a, it's a kind of a spin off from the, the movie from 2019 by Guy Ritchie, it starred Matthew McConaughey um, I think Colin Farrell was in it as well, Hugh Grant was in it Oh, Hugh Grant was amazing in it He was, he was fab, now I, I think the first night Emma put that on during lockdown to watch it after the first few minutes I was like this is too violent for me, I'm not in this room of mind and I left the room but I have watched it since and really enjoyed it but the, the Netflix series is it's it's loosely based on it. It's the same idea, but it's not in any way telling the story from it. It's not you don't have to have watched the movie to gotcha. enjoy the series. Okay. You know, yep. um, it just launched there on the seventh of March. I'm on episode five of eight now. We've watched one every evening this week. Um, Theo James, relatively new cast. I knew a lot of the faces, but didn't know where I knew them from. So it wasn't a case that you were the, the only person who I really recognised very quickly was Vinnie Jones, mm. who has a small part in it, but he's brilliant. Um, Theo James plays the Duke Eddie. And then we have Kaya, I'm not sure how her name is said, Scottolario. Is it Scottolario? You're on uh, your own, I'm I afraid. don't know. <laughs> I, she's, she's fab as an actress, beautiful to look at, really, really plays the part really, really well. So you've got this uh, lord who was a UN peacekeeper who has to go home for his father's funeral and suddenly inherits the estate and all the problems of an underground drug farm that goes oh, with it. Okay. Mm. And he is launched very quickly and trying to save his family, he's launched very quickly into the murky world world of drugs. It's full of eclectic characters. There's a very they all have dangerous agendas. Um the humour in it is quite dark and very brutal. It's just exactly what you expect from Guy Ritchie mm. and I have to mm. say I love his wit. The dialogue in it is so fast paced that there's times where you miss what they've just said. And you know yeah. um one of the the highlights of it for me is the the brother who plays Freddy, it's Daniel Ings and his character is so manic you want to reach into the TV and strangle him <laughs> but he's he's so joyous to watch you know he's a real yeah. really really good actor um, Guy Ritchie directs some of it himself I think there's a David uh, Caffrey or Caffrey directs along with him it just it's set in England it's a whole pile of posh people being really really criminal <laughs> <laughs> and I'm there for that. Uh, yeah, so it's the escapism that I need list. at the moment, and it is definitely. You know, if you enjoy that kind of humour, it's it's absolutely oh, one to watch. Good. Looking forward to the the last few episodes now. Yeah, because I was hoping it was like the movie, because the movie is amazing, and I'm not really a Guy Ritchie fan, because like you said, I, some of his stuff is really violent. Yeah, and, and I this is. Wouldn't, it's not necessarily it's not, my It's not for the faint hearted. There is a lot of violence in this, and and some of it's quite controversial as well. Um, one of the episodes, I won't give anything away, but the episode we watched last night lost me a bit because it went down a very typical cliched stereotype of people. Mm. That's as much as I'll say because I really mm. don't want to ruin it on people. Mm. And I, I actually turned to Emma and said, oh, he's, he's pushing it a bit here now. Mm. But then suddenly the story ties back together and you're like, ah, I get yeah. it. And it really is. No, it's very, very good. It. Very good. Well, Highly recommend good, it. I, I was looking to see, like I said, I, I wasn't a big fan of his and then I watched The Gentleman again. Yeah. Somebody said to me, oh, forget about the, the, er, late, the earlier stuff. Yeah. Watch The Gentleman. And I... I'd say I've seen that two or three times. Yeah, it's and it great. is violent. But the violence is within the storyline. It's yes. not just kind of for the sake you of know, it. random violence. Which I think like. a lot of movie directors now make the mistake of, of doing it for the sake of it. They're yeah. putting it in for the visuals of it. This is 
it's only ever necessary. Mm. But it's shocking. There's like yeah. these parts where I gasp out loud at it. You know, it's like yeah, oh! well, uh, the man yeah. beside you loves violence for the sake of violence. We went to see the beekeeper there a few years oh, a few yeah. weeks ago. A few weeks ago, and, yeah. I mean, great fun. It was a bloodbath, <laughs> and there were. To this day, I'm not 100% sure why that guy's not in jail. There were so many people <laughs> killed in that movie. It was just crazy. It was uh, awesome. Michael, what awesome. are you at? at the, what have you been oh, watching? Well, before I say, I was just, I was listening to Noel <laughs> talking there about celebrity Big Brother. And I was thinking, why doesn't Highland lock... Greg and Oshin and Lee in in here for a weekend. <laughs> like imagine that would be that would be something to look at for next year for the, and just Definitely. put the cameras everywhere and let's just watch them I because I will add that to the suggestion box and see and how long it the, takes them to go. Lord Michael of the, does it too before they to see how long it takes before they go Lord of the Flies. I know well, it, yeah, exactly. Like would it be twelve hours? Would it be eighteen hours? But I mean, even just watching them interact, even here behind the scenes, I was thinking. I just as you were chatting, I was thinking now. Go, well, there's got to be content in that for a weekend. There's yeah. got to be something. I know in that. broadcastable content and content. That one, yeah. are not, are not always <laughs> different things. They're not always the same thing. You know, you know that more than anybody knows. Some of the things you find yourself involved in sometimes it's like oh yeah no this is this not would never yeah this is not this necessary mean, for on air that would be the license pulled straight away the license <laughs> exactly, pulled straight away exactly. and that would only be just day one be careful with it <laughs> Um, so what have I been watching? Yeah, well, I suppose, uh, as I sent you the message last night, I decided to go outside of my wheelhouse and watch something because we were talking about things to do for today, to watch something that I would never normally watch. Mm -hmm. So uh, Virgin Media, uh, it was a documentary they did about two years ago and it's on, they must have re-shown it, I think, at the start of the month. And it's about Irish people who are using OnlyFans and oh, this yeah. huge industry that's happening in the country where people, ordinary people are uh, by and large very ordinary people are using the OnlyFans platform to generate uh, X-rated material that your grandmother would not approve of. Oh. So this is like a 45 minute thing. It's on the media player. I watched it one of the nights. Um, it was an in interesting educational experience because it was to say definitely not what I normally would I normally watch. Um, and in terms of it just being a documentary, this was a very light documentary. It's not like one of those like three identical strangers or some of these heavy ones. It really was just talking heads, just people giving very superficial explanations for what they're doing. But what was very interesting and what I did find very surprising is just how, uh, by and large, how ordinary and normal these people are. They really are the mm -hmm. people who live next door, the people who live in the same estate as you who had found out that there is a lot of money to be made on this particular social media platform where once you're over 18 and once you sign up for that side of it, you can do whatever you like, basically. You can go, you know, sort of naughty, middle ground naughty, or really full on, let's just... And I'm now ignoring Greg Hughes at... Because do it. <laughs> And I, I apologise to Maria for drawing her attention to what to what Craig was doing off camera. I'm very sorry about that. I shouldn't have said anything. I'm going to get the holy water now. <laughs> well, and on that note, as we all take a you know a deep a, a breath, palpitation and deep breath, Rick, I need. Greg Hughes doing that in the canteen when someone asked him to go and make yeah, a cup of tea. That, that does not make me think we should definitely. You, should, you don't want to do it now. You don't want to do it. So oh, I'm this just is what people are looking for. <laughs> Greg Hughes without his t-shirt. I'm just going to go to a quick break, which again we've asked a, few, uh, a couple of people across the county um, <laughs> what their favourite movie is, and this time now uh, Paddy Diver came back to us and let us know what his movie is. Paddy Diver here. My favourite film of all time is Men of Honour. True story, starring Robert De Niro and Cuba Gooding Jr. It's about a young man that perseveres against all the odds and against, especially against hierarchy. True story, unbelievable film. Today's show is brought to you by Letterkenny Credit Union. Digital loans now available. Apply online via our app today and get your loan transferred directly to your current account. Donegal concealed promotion to Division 1 of the National League this weekend. Jim McGuinness' side head to Carlow to play Kildare in their penultimate game of the Division 2 campaign, where a win will be enough to take them into the top flight. Join Oshin Kelly and Martin McHugh this Saturday for full match commentary from the 5 o'clock throw-in. Highlands coverage of Donegal in Division 2 of the National Football League is brought to you by Highland Motors in Letterkenny. New cars available to test drive include the Renault Arcana with sporty coupe lines and sturdy SUV looks. For a test drive or to order your new 241, pop into Highland Motors. Keep out the cold, cold, cold and ring Fleming for their full range of garage doors, agri doors, insulated doors, milking parlour doors. 
Fleming, 91 48 234. Right Price Tiles and Wood Flooring are 26 years old and to celebrate, we're offering up to 70% off everything in store. That's right, a massive birthday sale with up to 70% off all tiles, wood flooring and bathware. Everything's in stock. Right Price Tiles and Wood Flooring, up to 70% off birthday sale and Sunday. Watch out, we've got a parade of offers coming through this St. Patrick's Day at Centra. Choose from an award-winning, delicious, inspired by Centra selected breakfast range. Any 5 for 10 euro. Selected Tato 6-pack and Club Orange 1.75 litre, 150 each, plus deposit where applicable. And Cassiero Del Diablo selected wine range, 8 euro each. Centra, live every day. Enjoy alcohol sensibly. Testing, testing. Do you need to get your hearing tested? Test your hearing with a free sample hearing aid from Hidden Hearing. Order your free sample hearing aid today. Call 1-800-370-0000 or visit hiddenhearing.ie. For all homeowners, Highland Radio is now offering the chance to transform your space with a €10,000 home makeover draw, plus an extra €5,000 in cash. Brought to you in association with Foy & Company. Imagine the possibilities. What could you do to your home with €10,000? Get your tickets now at highlandradio.com for a chance to make your dream home a reality. Enter today. Visit highlandradio.com. Welcome back to the Highland Radio um, uh, birthday bash and as hopefully you all know by now and the reason why I'm here is that we're doing a bit of a change up with our station and we are doing it in aid of three fantastic charities, the Irish Wheelchair Association, uh, Jigsaw Donegal and um, Breast Care Northwest and we're hoping to uh, fundraise loads of money and in, in part of that we are asking our listeners to donate um, to us if at all possible either they can do go through the website to our I donate page or else they can even just pop into the station and visit us um, so I have lots of different things to do and we're going to go back to our guests in a few minutes but the first thing I want to do in this uh, part of the, the show is to have a chat with um, one of our uh, radio colleagues from a different station but always welcome here on Highland Radio and it is Tommy Marin. Welcome Tommy. Good morning Fanula and happy birthday. Oh thank you very much. It must be yours must be in around the same time as well is it Tommy? Yeah, I think we were 35 years on air last July. We were the first legal local radio station in the country to go on air. Oh, so wow. We're, ahead of you. we're older than you. Oh, I, I, you can tell, Tommy, I look miles. <laughs> I look miles younger than than, yes. uh, than Midwest, I'm telling you now. Um, well, look, we're delighted to have you on air and it's great to talk to you because you are coming up, I'm told, Tommy, and uh, that you are hilarious and we are all going to be falling out of our seats laughing when you come up to do this show. Well, that's the hope. It's called Matches and Old Flames, and it's our follow-on play from Three Hail Marys, Fanula, which was a huge success for us. We toured all over Ireland and indeed abroad with Three Hail Marys for almost three years. Then COVID came along and I decided, you know what, people will really want a good laugh after all of this is over. So I sat down over COVID and I wrote this play called Matches and Old Flames. So we're bringing it all over the country at the minute. It's been selling out phenomenally well all over the country. And we're coming to Letter Kenny on Friday the 29th, which is two weeks tonight and Saturday the 30th for two nights in on Grainon. And all I can say to people is if you want a bit of light relief and madness and all kinds of plots and subplots, this is the play for you. Well, even just reading the description that I've got here in front of me, Mary Maureen Corcoran decides to find love for two maturing sons who have no interest in marriage. And I absolutely think that in today's climate, with so many people with their grown-up children living at home, there's a lot of mothers and <laughs> and fathers out there who will be able to relate to poor Maureen and would love to see them out the door and married and settled. So I think they'll definitely be going in and uh, really getting a kick out of it. It's true. And, you know, it, it, this will resonate with a lot of parents out there who maybe have sons and daughters living under their feet at the minute. But it wasn't intentional, I assure you. <laughs> uh, the, the plot just came from the head. And so Maureen Corcoran, she's an elderly lady. She lives with her her uh, husband, Matt. And Matt spends too much time with his two sons in the pub. And Maureen sits at home and one day she's browsing through the Ireland's own and she spots an advertisement in the personal ads column where two 
mature ladies on the east coast of Ireland, Rose and Daisy Potts, are looking for two men. And she thinks to herself, let's put two and two together here and hopefully we'll get four. But unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. So Maureen takes it upon herself to invite the two ladies down mm. and all hell breaks loose. Let's just put it that way. It's it's really hilarious. You know, the the to hear the volume of laughter from the audiences so far has been just so heartwarming because there's so many plots and subplots. There's a missing wife. There's an overdue eternity ring. There's a dodgy sponge cake. There's news of an old flame. There's a tongue twister competition. A lot of rare diseases suddenly appear on the scene. So because the two boys, Pat and Joe, decide to plot a plan whereby they're going to put the two ladies off. But the more they try to put them off, the more the ladies find out they have more in common with the two lads. So it really <laughs> is a hilarious show. And if people enjoyed, you know, It's the Real McCoy, Nobody's Talking to Me and Three Hail Marys, it's all more of the same. 300 laughs guaranteed. This one is different so far, Panula, in that it's set in modern times. Mm -hmm. All of my previous plays kind of were set back in the 60s and 70s. But yeah. this one is right up to date. Even Alexa gets a mention or two. Oh, but I can promise audiences a really great night of laughter and a complete escapism from all of the trudgery and bad news that's around us day in, day out. Well, I think that's exactly what people need. So thanks very much for coming on with this, Tom. We really appreciate it. And I know that people will start uh, ringing into on Green On or checking it out online and booking tickets for the show. As Tommy mentioned there, it's on Friday the 29th of March and Saturday the 30th at 8 p.m., uh, tickets on sale so be sure and get them because you're uh, definitely going to be sorry afterwards that you missed out in a good laugh and as, as Tommy said we all need that now in today's climate it's nice to be able to just leave your woes at the door and walk in and just have a good time well so said Fanula thank you very much <laughs> and just to let listeners know like it is selling really fast at the minute so uh, on grainon.com or the box office 07491 to get your tickets enjoy the rest of the birthday thank you Tommy take care so that's uh, Tommy Marin's show. It sounds like it's going to be great crack. We definitely have to think about going to see that if we can, if we're around. Because I, uh, I love the idea of, of not being able to get the kids out now and and have to try and find husbands for them. It's hilarious. So it's a, even here, it's like without consulting her sons, Maureen invites the ladies to come and inspect the talent for themselves. Oh, right. Which I would imagine if the talent is in uh, quotation marks, it's going to be fairly bit of crack. That's exactly what they're up to. So I think, do I have another break or anything? Are we going to... Keep chatting. Oh, all right, because I was going to say, well, then, in the meantime, before I get back to the panel then, we have two family passes for Clip Cinema in Lifford to give away on um, this hour. And I think the best way to give that away, and also someday I'd like to be invited down there, so i like to keep in with them. What <laughs> hotel is our guest Noel Cunningham best associated with? I've only ever driven past it. Somebody has to invite oh, me down there. Nula. I know, it's beautiful oh, down there. And I'm like, I definitely need to wake up some morning down there with the windows open looking out, oh, looking out over the beautiful we'll scene. I know, in fairness, ah, bless, I know, ah, bless, I know. Bring out the violin. Oh, I know, it's I awful. I am horrified that I'm you've never done by. I'm hard done by. <laughs> I'm hard done by. So, we've two family passes for the Eclipse Cinema in Lifford to give away and the question that you need to text your answers into 086 oh, 60, 60, 25,000. Very bad. Oh, it's 60, 60, 25,000. I panicked there. I panicked. Um, what hotel is our guest, Noel Cunningham, best associated with here in Donegal? So uh, come in with that and we'll be picking two lucky winners. So, and I thank you. That's great. So, Noel, back around to you again because I'm being very strategic. Definitely mm -hmm. doing my line. Anything else that you've been watching or that you think we should be talking about today? People well, should look out for. You, you know, I'm, I have all sorts of interesting things that I get involved in. I was fascinated by the recent furore over Kate Middleton and the royal family mm. and uh, Prince William not attending his godfather's funeral service, even though he was on the um, uh, order of service to do a reading. And it begs the question... At what stage is a private life, a public life, and if someone is battling illness or had serious mm. surgery, when does society hold back and say, mm. 
let them leave them, you know, they need to recuperate, give them space. Uh, so that's that's fascinating. Um, Absolutely. It was, in, it was a bit crazy, wasn't it? Like, this, utterly. Like some of the social media stuff, even just, like they said she wasn't going to be around until Easter. We're still a month out there, well, three yeah. weeks out from Easter. And like when he missed that order of service, I saw something online where they were trying to claim that she had passed away oh, and yeah, they were afraid that. to tell yeah. people. Yeah. Then there was like a conspiracy theory that uh, like he had bumped her off in some way. And like, I don't know, did he not attend his godfather's funeral because he was, you know, Brooke Side putting her under the patio like it was insane like yeah. it's well, just see, crazy the world is fascinated by conspiracy and yes, it's fascinated on. by the British royal family in particular now these people have the wherewithal to have the finest PR and advisors so it wasn't very sensible to issue such a photograph yeah, on true. such a day that was unlikely to get anything other than global coverage because it was Mothering Sunday. Mm -hmm. uh, so there was mistakes made there. But uh, yeah. but it's just the power of social media. And no more than that, uh, Michael was talking about what's only... Oh, the only fans. On, yeah. Oh, yeah, only fans, yeah. Only fans. You know, it's extraordinary that Joe Soap... Now, I do not have neighbours like Michael. I wish, <laughs> I, Nobody I, I wish does. I did. Nobody does. And Michael made it appear that everybody who's on only fans or whatever are readily available next door. I wish. <laughs> <laughs> I wish, you know. But it just goes to show you how anybody can take their clothes off, flex their muscles... Do the pose and hey ho, they can Pain. charge huge amounts of money. I and know. I'm sitting here in Highland. I'm looking at I darling know. Greg. <laughs> I, I can an adjoining studio. Young David James is looking most desirable. I don't need. To, I don't need to go on OnlyFans. I know. That's true. That's I've true. got them We're, all right beside. And I, Michael, I see you now in a completely different light. Absolutely. And you see the estate I live in in a completely different light as well. I'll be around right. this evening. <laughs> <laughs> Where did we go from Kate Middleton? I know, I don't know. I've definitely lost control. I'm Social definitely, it's media. I'm definitely. Media. Media. Oh, yes, yeah. Media. 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 Oh. It is. It, and in fairness, as you say, they did some crazy things with that photograph. Could have been, uh, you know, you would have thought they would have been smarter when they were trying to. Uh, or did they do it on purpose? Up. Oh, really? Like, let's be, like oh. there's nobody puts himself and nobody is out in the public eye who. You know, yes, people make mistakes, and I fully understand what you're saying. I haven't really been following it. I've seen glimpses of it. It is intriguing me, I have mm. to say. Um, but I don't. I think when they have the highest, the highest level of photographers of everything else that they have, their PR, their marketing, everything goes through offices. How was that? How did it happen? Mm. Unless it was done to try and divert. So there we go. I'll throw my top ones in. Your conspiracy. I'd love to know what's yeah. going on, but at the same time. In the scheme of things, at the moment, do we really care? Uh, do we care? Yeah, I think about the I wish her well. Yeah. Think think the, yeah. 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 Wish her well. Yeah. Yes, she needs her privacy. It, mm. It's also the royal family. It's part of their job to be. Oh, people to be feel that they own them. I think yeah. which the, the royal family is one of those weird things, isn't it? Because yeah. I mean, much as we all give out about them, we all pick up the magazine. You know, and we oh, have, so yeah. many people would say, "Oh, it's terrible," and you, we shouldn't. You know, that like the UK shouldn't have them, and the cost, mm. and this, that, and, and yet people pick up the paper and do the magazine, or they yeah. check it out online. I just hope she's okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously, yeah. Whatever the poor girl is going through, I mean, it's you think it's her own prerogative. I mean, it's very, it must be very King Charles. I feel sorry for. In well, I do, I do he laugh, waited a know, long time. The Irish were so supposed to be so anti-royals and that, you know. Uh, when, <laughs> loved them. when the then Prince Charles came to Donegal, he was overwhelmingly received with joy and mm. pleasure. And we all purport not to be a bit interested. Yet there's a magazine in Ireland with Kate Middleton or Diana, the Princess of Absolutely. Wales, on the cover. It sells more magazines per head of cap, uh, population than any other country in the world. So it's that we don't care, but we do care. I know. We're I, sucked into I was thinking, the whole thing. I know. I remember when the Queen visited and she came to Cork and she walked around and everybody was like, ah. Bleh. She was marvelous. And though. Yeah. She was marvelous. I put loved a her. Foot wrong. She was marvelous. But I people yeah. were saying online, oh my God, we can't. Why is she even here? We can't. Oh, all the things the British have done against Ireland. And then all of a sudden the reply was like, ah, right, she's doing her best. Yeah, and I just she did her that. best. And you're like, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> we love them, even though we pretend that we don't love them. On the whole, 
we do. Yeah. We just are fascinated by them, like you say. We love to be looking at them and seeing what's going on. Um, so we are going to go to another break. And the one thing that I want to say, as I said, we went out and about, asked a few people what was their favourite movie. And this time we're going to hear from Pat the Cope Gallagher what his favourite film was. Due to the He's- nature of my work over the years... I never had a lot of time to watch films. However, of those that I've watched, uh, the one that stands out in my mind and my favourite one uh, would have been The Quiet Man, uh, filmed in 1952 in Kong on the Galway uh, Mayo border with great actors and actresses, uh, John Wayne as Shan Thornton, uh, Maureen O'Hara as Mary-Kate Danaher, Barry Fitzgerald as Michaeline and Victor McLaglan as Danaher. It was, of course, a romantic uh, comedy and uh, John Wayne, uh, Sean Thorne, came back from America to buy the uh, old farm, met up with uh, Mary Kate, uh, fell in love and uh, eventually uh, married. But the actor that I uh, enjoyed uh, was Barry Fitzgerald as Michaeline. And the quote that stands out in my mind when he was asked could he use a little water in his whiskey and his response was when i drink whiskey i drink whiskey when i drink water i drink water i would watch it again and it's very relaxing and it's very riveting irrespective of the number of times that one watches it Today's show is brought to you by Letterkenny Credit Union. With monster loans available up to €60,000 for all occasions. Visit letterkennycu.ie. Century Complex is a perfect destination for your family to out this Easter. With lots of options in backstage bar and grill, a selection of movies and Century Cinemas. And don't forget our Easter party and Century Play on Sunday the 31st of March from 10.30am to 12pm for that final hurrah before our extensive renovations begin. Check out our website at centurycinemas.ie. Skoda cars are made for exploring Ireland. But let's add more style, more sexiness, more French. Skoda Fabia Scala and Kamek models are available in the Monte Carlo range. Black exterior details, excusez-moi, sports seats and bumpers, enchanté, and carbon decor. So chic. Order your new 2024 Skoda with more je ne sais quoi at skoda.ie. Skoda, let's explore. Your local Skoda dealer is DMG Motors, Clare Road, Donegal Town. Telephone 074 97 21396 or visit dmgmotors.ie. Creative Landscaping Works are the Donegal distributors of millboard cladding and decking. Thanks to its unique polymer resin construction, this decking and cladding doesn't deteriorate like natural wood and won't be beaten for durability. It also has superb slip resistance, even when wet, and every board is produced using recycled materials. Live life outside with millboard at Creative Landscaping Works, this Nen and Letter Kenny. See creativelandscapingworks.com. This East come rain or sun, put a spring in their steps and seek out somewhere special as a family. From Easter trails for young explorers to a treasure trove of stories at historic places and room to roam in the fresh spring air. You'll find more than one great day out on your doorstep or further away with the National Trust this Easter. Search National Trust NI and start planning your family's adventure. Highland Radio weather updates with Ireland West Airport. Time to book the family summer holiday. Fly to Barcelona, Faro, Milan, Majorca, and much more for a perfect family getaway. Ireland West Airport. Don't just take off, take it easy. So welcome back to uh, a kind of a different Highland Radio this Friday. As I said, we are doing a big fundraiser for our three charities, Irish Wheelchair Association, uh, Donegal Jigsaw and uh, Nor- uh, sorry, Breast Care Northwest. Um, if you want to donate, check out our donate page on highlandradio.com. We're getting loads of requests from people wondering or 
calls in from people wondering when Greg and Brendan Deveni and Oshin are going to be doing their singing. Donegal Daddy wants to know how much he needs to raise to get him to do Amarillo. I was like, yeah, give me, even what you get paid in a day, I'd say, come on, you're cleaning up there in that social media. Throw that over to our charities and we'll definitely get Amarillo. Uh, the lads are going to be on around half two-ish, we think. They're going to be coming from the Letterkenny Shopping Centre. So if anybody wants to see them in person, you can pop into them there. Meanwhile, we are now crossing over to the Letterkenny Shopping Centre centre to our own John Breslin for an update on the auction and the spinathon. Any ambulances been called yet, John, or have the, has everybody managed to stay going? Uh, uh, not yet, Fanula, but they don't rule that out um, <laughs> because there's, there's some serious spinning. I was going to say cycling, but it's spinning actually going on here with all uh, the cycling clubs and the gyms and not forgetting our own staff because well, we've got a bike here as well and we are at, uh, what's, what's the distance on ours? I think it's uh, 38 kilometres. Anyhow, we're on track. We're on Perfect. track to make it down to Sleeve League because that's, a, that's oh. the distance that we've set ourselves. Well, that's so great. Michelle McKinney, yeah. Canis got um, caught in, in Carondona there when he was doing his. He reckoned he couldn't get out of Carondona. No matter how many miles he did, he wasn't getting further. <laughs> Not not easy to get caught on a spinning bike in, in traffic in Carndonna, <laughs> but he managed it. He managed so, it. Uh, Michelle Michelle McKinney is on the bike for us at the moment and, oh, and going really well. And then uh, just uh, just beside her is uh, Aura Leisure, um, Je- who uh, Joanne is on on the bike at the moment. Uh, James has just come off, and and the challenge uh, for those guys is uh, who can get the uh, furthest in a half an hour. And we've had KO Fitness and Pilates by Samantha and uh, the health club at the Radisson and also the Finn Wheelers. And uh, the current leader, by the way, is Pilates by Samantha. Uh, with wow. just over 15, yeah, just over 15 yeah. kilometers, 15.3. So that's... I'll let Maria know here she's going to need to get the get the knees pumping oh. when she gets down as far as you. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. 100%. Uh, just update you on the, the total, by the way. Um, this is uh, on uh, I Donate. And if anybody wants to donate there, just go to our website and there's a link to do that. But there's been a very, very generous donation of 2000 just received on that. That's from JMA Ventures. Oh, fantastic. Uh, not sure who they are, where they are, but thank you. Very generous. Thank you very much. And that brings the total to over 7000. Um, it's, it's, it's what's up there. If you go in there, you'll see a different total. But there's also been um, a money pledge to us here at the at the shopping center. And uh, it's over, in, 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 in reality, it's over 7,000. So that's great. And thank you, everybody, who's donated there uh, so far online. And also donated here. We have uh, some collection buckets here. And come up, a lot of people very kind, come up and donated money to, to the, the three charities here as well. And uh, and then let's not forget the, uh, the big auction, uh, because there's some great items um, at the, oh, just go back to uh, I Donate, by the way. And if you if you go on there, there's a, a chance to win uh, prizes because every hour there's going to be uh, one or two prizes given away. And mm-hmm. uh, yeah, my um, so let's Anne Sweeney, Anne Sweeney, you've won a fifty euro voucher for uh, Lucas Restaurant in Letterkenny, and Anne Toner, you get a uh, fifty euro menswear voucher for Watson Menswear. Oh wow, in, that's fantastic. Uh, yeah, so, so that's, that's for people really who good. donate online. We're um, just randomly picking people who've donated across the day in order to win a, a, a prize every hour, which is just more opportunities for people to donate and more opportunities for people to win prizes. And um, and that's true for people who have donated already. Once you have donated, you're in with a chance of winning those prizes, okay? Brilliant. And uh, uh, our, our auction, well, just let you know where, where some of the items are at at the moment. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, that big dinner for eight. Uh, um, courtesy of Gary O'Hanlon, he'll come out and he'll, he'll cook for eight people and he'll, he'll provide all the food. And that's now at 4,000, up at 4,000, which is brilliant. So uh, that's, um, that's sitting there at four grand if you want to want to top that. Um, overnight stay in the five-star Royas Castle, that's at 400. So that uh, that's, uh, right. that's for, uh, yeah, Castle includes a meal and the restaurant and use of the uh, swimming pool and a fitness suite. Um, three nights at the Wild Atlantic Camp in uh, Creaslaw. That's at uh, 4.50 by the looks of things. I love it. Um, 
I to say, anybody who's watching what? needs to look. Anybody who's watching us online that needs to watch John without his glasses as he's doing his reading. <laughs> I know, yeah, John. Long, you're you're exactly what you arms. did to me when I suddenly long had to get glasses. Long arms. Sorry, yeah. now, John. I cut across you there because we. It's only you're three right. minutes to twelve, so we have to go uh, okay. for the break. And I want to round up here, but uh, we'll be coming back to you in the next hour um, with the. Uh, I I uh, I forget who's on after. Oh, the nostalgia. Jeez, I actually blanked there on who's in next. The nostalgia are next with Dolan so uh, I know they'll be back to you after that so I just want to say first of all is the winners for our tickets to Eclipse Cinema they knew you were associated no they guessed your hotel Harvey's Point one of the finer hotels in Donegal and the winners are Mary Mulvaney from Letterkenny and Maggie McDade from Listron I'm probably saying that wrong now and I apologise if I am but uh, that's all the Listerine isn't it I say yes, a Listerine yeah. well it says yeah I thought it was a Listerine but this is still with an L and it's my fault probably so <laughs> believe me I pronounce things funny I talk funny It's a, it, that's what everybody says to me up here I want to thank my guests thank you so much for coming and being so patient with me I'm sorry if things were a little bit scatty but thank you very much for coming in uh, uh, the inimitable isn't that the word I want uh, Noel Cunningham keep using it it's <laughs> wonderful yeah. and the I meant that as a good word. Is that the, not a good word? I meant the that Oscar as... connection, you know, the goodie bag. I got a flake, a tea bag, and a packet of potatoes. It's, it's all the quality. It's over from it's all quality up here. I'm you did exactly. a marvellous job. It's been most enjoyable. Thank and you, I Jeff. love being with my darling friend, Maria, who's oh, well, a joy and a pleasure. <laughs> and as I said, I'm going to Michael's house this evening yes. to look at his neighbours. Exactly, to look in the windows we of all to, his I'll neighbours. We have to tour the neighbourhood tonight. <laughs> so thank you to Noel, thank you to Maria, from Rust Fishness and also to, uh, you know, kind of my best buddy. But uh, big thank you to Michael for coming up as well and Greg for helping me out here. So uh, please donate. They're worthy causes. We have a whole day of uh, different kind of programming, all different kind of things for you. So please donate and give generously to the fantastic charities and we will talk to you more during the day. Thank Today's you. show is brought to you by Letterkenny Credit Union. Simplify your debts with a debt consolidation loan from Letterkenny Credit Union. Call us on 074 